Yeah, it's Friday morning. We are ready to roll. It's almost seven o'clock. Pack is so heavy, two people have to carry it. <laughs> this is how we're gonna do it the whole trip. Passing <laughs> Trinity Lake. Turning off on the Long Canyon Trail, three miles to the trailhead. This game is called How Much Can You Carry? Last preparations, packs going on, ready to roll. First four or five miles are all uphill. So we're walking and stopping and walking and stopping. That's right, that's right. Oh, don't have an Android app. Fly the plane by using your Android. Just tilt it. Yeah. From the trail at this point, it's about a 45 degree slope, about 200 yards down to a rushing little stream at the bottom of the ravine. Gotta go to the cold water. Okay. Along the way, we're seeing lots of this beautiful yellow lupin. it was going to level out after we get going for a while, but uh, certainly wrong. we got a lot of climbing left to do to get to the top. This is not a hill I want to climb. Fortunately, we're going up a different ridge. Mount Lassen or Mount Shasta? I don't know. Probably over 100 miles away. Pretty spectacular. You're the man! Woo! So... We have just about reached the snow line and we're beginning to see patches of snow, but we still have more to climb. Now, how are you going to get down? I'll, I'll see what I can do. Jump. <laughs> Vlad and Blake are going to fill water jugs from this meltdown stream. And Vlad has a water purifying system he'll run it through so it'll be safe to go. I hope we don't have to climb all the way up over this ridge. But we're headed for some place to camp and it's already four o'clock. This is some really steep country. The trail has gotten so steep, 
But now there are 20 inch rocks placed as steps to come up the trail. One step at a time. And still we climb up and up and up. We are headed for the pass. There's an old avalanche chute with all the rocky debris left and still quite a snow field at the bottom. This is getting more and more beautiful. Yeah, those were Time for a break. Is there a flower there? Yeah, it had white bloom. Vlad, Vlad and Blake have it's gone like off to play on this snow Dad field. Dad. Here in mid June, these little flowers indicate the spring is just arriving above the 6,000 foot level. They look like little trees. No matter how far we climb, it seems like we've still got just about another mile to go. Another thousand feet to climb. We've met some people coming down this trail a few minutes ago and they said they left the top about an hour ago and there is snow on the trail further up so we'll see what happens I'm starting to see the first patches of snow on the trail itself the peaks are amazing and you can see why they call them the trinity alps the closer we get to the snow field of course the wetter it gets this little stream that i'm looking at here is the trail this is so steep and my legs are so tired by now, I'm seriously considering removing Kilimanjaro and the Inca Trail from my bucket list. <laughs> That's about eight inches tall. Looks like they have just popped out of the ground within the last week or so. And still we climb. We've reached the snow line. This is what you would call a wet trail. <laughs> and this isn't warm enough to be wet yet, just snowy. There goes the trail. Well, here come Bruce and Mark, plodding along slowly, just like I am. And their next obstacle is the snow field. We don't really want to climb across this steep, steep snow field. But on the other hand, this is the alternative. They'll do one or the other. Well, it's about 9.30 at night and we have pitched tents and eaten dinner. And that means it's about bedtime.